Hey up! Today I'm once again in Benidorm, the subject of the British sitcom of the same name. Come with me as I check out some of the filming locations used for the popular TV show. Hey up! Welcome back to the channel. If you love Benidorm like me, chances are you love the TV show as well. So today, I'm going to show some of the iconic locations from the classic sitcom. Come on, let's get to it. So location one is perhaps Benidorm's most iconic. It is of course, Neptune's Bar, or Morgan's Tavern as it's known. A lot of memorable scenes were filmed here. Morgan's Tavern is located right at the start of the Benidorm Strip or college your owner as it's known. You'd often see the Garveys and the other guests enjoying their evening meal and a spot of entertainment in Neptunes. A bit bland. Wish I'd gone for the beef curtains. <laughs> There's nightly shows that start at 7pm in reality, with tribute acts for the likes of Queen, Ed Sheeran, Liam Gallagher and Tate That All performing. Sadly, you won't get to see Mel singing Lonely Girl. So next up, there's a very famous hotel behind me, the Sol Pelicanos, but in the TV show, it's better known as the Solana. All the Solana exterior scenes were shot here at the Sol Pelicanos, which is only a stone's throw from Neptune's. In the show, CGI was used to add the Solana signage. All the exterior pool scenes were also shot here, due to its enormous pool, that was divided and cordoned off during filming of the show. Mateo, or Potato as Leslie would call him, won't be serving at the pool bar however. The reception scenes themselves weren't actually filmed here. No, the reception scenes were actually filmed right here, what's commonly known as the Pink House. All the reception scenes from Series 3 onwards were filmed in this striking pink building. The Pink House was also used to film the scenes for Kenneth's Salon, Blow and Go. If you fancy some of your British home comforts while you're here, there's even an Iceland right next door. This futuristic thing behind me is of course, the Benidorm Palace. A few memorable scenes were shot here, including the tragic scenes when the Garvis found out about Mel's death. It's like a spaceship, isn't it? This is Benidorm's premier entertainment complex, as Mel Harvey would say, with lots of different shows to enjoy while having an evening meal. There's a box office right here at the palace if you fancy booking some tickets. Mel and Madge once famously bought the palace, and even performed here. Talking of Madge. I think my favourite episode of Benny now has got to be the one where Mel gets his phone out and he's dived in the pool. Yeah, I think I like that series the best actually. Series 2 I think it was. Let me know in the comments down below which is your favourite episode. Favourite characters in the show? This is always an interesting debate. I think mine's a bit of a left field choice. I think I'd go with Mel. Probably because I like those series he was in. Who would you choose? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this little tour around Benidorm, give the video a like and consider subscribing. It really helps the channel out. I'm now at the Benidorm Amphitheatre. Famous for one particular scene when Johnny Vegas' character, the Oracle, was asking the statue of Julio Iglesias for some words of wisdom. The Julio Iglesias Amphitheatre has played host to some of the biggest pop and rock stars in the world, including the Rolling Stones, Bruce Springsteen, and even Status Quo are due to play here this summer. A 
a great place for a walk about or even a spot of exercise, just like Kenneth and Liam here. The wider park has large green areas, a kids section and lots of nice areas for a picnic or just relaxing in the sunshine, well worth a visit if you're in Benidorm. So I'm now at the Balcon de Mediterraneo, very recognisable from a very funny scene when Leslie and the Oracle went on a blind date. They actually made this place look like a restaurant. This lady was certainly enjoying herself up here, unlike Jeff on his date. It's a very popular place to visit, with its spectacular views and even musicians busking up here. Talking of views, time to trek up to the Benidorm Cross, or La Cruz as it's known locally. Real nice natural beauty in this area and well worth the walk. The views aren't bad on the way up either. It's a very popular place to remember lost loved ones, a time for reflection. Just like Jacqueline was trying to do here by scattering Donald's ashes, with hilarious consequences. It also didn't go too well for the remembrance of Big Donna. And this location tour wouldn't be complete without Benidorm's most famous asset, its beach. There's a few scenes here in the TV show, including when the Garvey's got ripped off in a sunbed scam. Oh, and one of the other famous locations is just behind us, Benidorm Island, or as it was known in the show, Peacock Island. Ladovez. I hope you enjoyed that tour around Benidorm and all the filming locations from the show. ta -ra, I'll see you in the next one. Benidorm Amphitheatre. Famous one particular scene when Johnny Vegas' character, the Oracle, was stroking the Julio <laughs> was stroking the Julio <laughs> I'm now at Benidorm's Amphitheatre. <laughs> dog. <laughs> Shut up, dog. <laughs>